Hello Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading. I hope you're doing well. My name is Harley and this is 13 Signs Tarot, okay? If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can find your way back to my channel to see more readings, okay? So let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. All right, we have the Judgment card for your career in general life, Sagittarius. You also have the Ace of Cups. So you have a huge decision to make here. I feel like uh, new energy is important right now with that Love Begins card. I feel like you have an opportunity coming up that you're going to have to make a decision. And for a lot of you, it feels like the choice is whether you should stay doing the same thing you are already doing, doing the old thing, or if you should move into this new energy. And I really think that you should move into something new right now, okay? Uh, before I forget, make sure you guys check out my Wizio site. There is a coupon code if you want a personal reading. It is New Year 10, capital New Year 10. If you want 10% off for a personal reading, make sure you go check that out. As well as my products, okay, and any other service you may be interested. I, I have a, a couple things I do, okay, Sag? So make sure you check out my link uh, tree. Well, it's my snip feed now. Check that out, all right? So... Like I was saying, Judgment card is telling me you have a big decision to make. Go with the new path. It will be very abundant for you. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that's a good sign. We have the King of Swords. You guys got a couple cards. Page of Swords. All right. Okay. The Three of Cups. Really good. And you have the Four of Wands. Okay, so some of you guys are wondering if you should partner with someone. Okay, this person could be an Earth sign or an Air sign. You may be wondering if you should partner with someone, and I feel like you should. This could even be someone you have a child with, all right, uh, or someone that you are in a relationship with. So if you're wondering if you should do business with this person, I feel like you could, because we have love begins here. So you know, if even if it's a love relationship, there's a lot of power couples nowadays. There's a lot of people working together with their person to create abundance for you know, them and their future children or their children they already have. So if you're wondering if you would be successful with your relationship partner, um, your romantic partner, I would say yes, okay? Um, but even if it's not romantic, romantic, if it's strictly business, I do see that you have good energy, especially with Capricorns, Aquarius, Cancer, and Aries. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's so funny because the cards that are telling you which sign to do have been coming up in the readings like, the Wheel of Fortune is why I chose to do Sagittarius next because that's what the deck gave me. And the Wheel of Fortune in a career reading is really good to me. It means that you're about to really see some financial growth, okay? So mentorship is another thing that's coming through. Anything that has to do with someone who's experienced, established, and also wants to make money and be successful, okay? So if you've been looking to partner with someone or like if this is a collaboration between you and coworkers, it looks really good. Um, if you've been thinking about buying a home with someone, I feel like the cards are saying yes. You're going to have a reason to celebrate here soon. Uh, Taurus also got this energy. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, you may want to check out their reading, um, whether that's in romance or business. And you do have a Queen of Pentacles here. So I see really good success. If you apply for something, um, this could be like a scholarship or, you know, you could be applying for uh, anything really, a home, a car, Someone might be giving this to you an opportunity. You should take it, all right? So it's really good for you um, financially. Big decision coming up. I say within the next month, Sagittarius, so look out for this opportunity and make sure you're not too afraid of something new because it's going to work out for you really well, okay? So let's see what's going on for your love energy. What is going on for Sagittarius and love? What is going on for Sagittarius and love? We have home yeah a lot of this is going hand in hand like uh we have draining and we also have home so especially if you're a single Sagittarius if you're someone who is not in a relationship you may want to consider like a partnership okay if you have someone who's willing to like get married or they want to help you with your day-to-day -day, especially if you're a Sagittarius who runs a business and you also have children there's an energy of someone who here that you could partner with we have seeing the value, home, and we have the four of wands here. There's something here about partnership, and this is going hand in hand with your finances and your love. So what is the message for Sagittarius for love? 
the Ten of Swords could be done with the Gemini. Now, that wanted to flip itself, reverse. So, keep in mind that, yeah, Queen of Wands. <laughs> okay. So, someone sees you in all your fiery light. Someone sees you as sexy, charismatic, beautiful. All right. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. So for some of you, this is a like a separation. You may have broken up with someone or I've just heard kicked out of the home. Maybe someone was cheating. I don't know. This could be the Knight of Wands. Someone could have been out doing them. So you disconnected from this person. Ten of Swords in Reverse is definitely someone who wants to try again. It's, this feels more so like a marriage or a home environment. I don't know. It feels like you two live together at some point or you will. I'm not going to take the ones that flew out. Let's get a card for Sagittarius, please. Explain what's going on for Sagittarius. The Judgment card, which is the first card that came out in your reading. So a second chance, a major second chance with someone here. I see possibly trying to make it work with, with a person here. So this is like, should I take a second chance with this person? Should I try again? Should I keep it going i feel like for a lot of you because you broke up with this person you've been doing a lot of things alone if you have children you've been taking care of the kids you've been uh handling the home but it's becoming draining and it feels like it's the the cards are directing you to making up with this person or trying to make it work with this person okay some of you this is like an ex coming back around I don't know why I'm getting that Knight of Wands, though. This Knight of Wands is kind of what throws the whole thing off for me. What's the Knight of Wands here for, for Sagittarius? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone that, that walked away, left, or you left this person because this person... Yeah, like somebody wanted to be free. I'm hearing that song, You Will Always Be a Part of Me by Mariah Carey. You want to be free, so I'll let you fly. Somebody told me to stop singing, and I, I kind of listened to them a little bit, but I, I'm definitely going to keep singing, like, on these readings. So, if you don't like my singing, um, I'm not apologetic. The car, the songs come to my head, so I'm going to sing it out loud. You know, you guys get to hear what's going on in my head. But, yeah, the judgment card. This could even been someone who walked away, like, walked out. Or you walked away from this person. And Spirit is saying, like, make it work with this person. I feel like for some of you, maybe this isn't even romantic, though. Like, maybe it's just, like, co-parenting. Like, they're saying stop trying to do something by yourself. It does. For some of you, this feels like a non-traditional relationship. I'm just going to go out and say that. Like, I know this going to bother some people. But with that Three of Pentacles, I feel like for some of you, this might be a non-traditional relationship. So keep take that the way it resonates. Because I see two queens and a king of swords here. But then I see a four of wands in judgment. So either you're co-parenting with someone who has another partner or something like that is going on here. I don't judge people because I'm not the most monogamous driven person myself. So I, I'm saying that to maybe that will resonate with some of you. It will not resonate with obviously most people because most people are even triggered by that type of conversation. Uh, but no, like... They're saying there's something here about you don't have to do it alone. This person sees you as strong and capable of doing this, doing this alone, Sagittarius, but I feel like you don't have to. Someone wants to make things work so you don't have to like bear the load alone, okay? This could even be a friend that you fell out with, but with home here, the Four of Wands, it feels like a relationship. And I also feel like this is someone who's good for your business or good for finances, okay? Like you guys can really help each other grow financially so just be open to the possibility of getting help from someone uh even if you guys don't wind up in a relationship if you're you know trying to do everything on your own and I, i'm not saying you're not handling it but there's something here about this person being very supportive and you both growing together in the future despite any obstacles that you had before okay so if this resonates for you and you want to get more of a personal reading make sure you check out the link in the description box there is a coupon code new year 10 if you want to get 10 percent off for a reading okay make sure you check out my instagram i post there way more often check out the text message list if you want a reading from me every day um products a whole bunch of stuff down there in the description box okay i'll see you next time sagittarius